Now, would the running of our prisons improve with more input from Māori? It is a question we're asking after the Corrections Minister said there's no reason iwi cannot tender for the contracts under its plans to privatise prison. So is this a workable solution? Well, we're joined by Peter Williams QC from the Howard League for Penal Reform. Thanks for coming Good in morning, this morning, please. Peter. And now, Judith Collins is supporting this idea. What do you think of it? Oh, I think I'd like to see more Māori officers in prisons. I think they could add a lot. Uh, to the prison situation. Uh, we had Mac Harrowinney, who was the manager of uh, Auckland Roman Prison. Uh, he was a, a Maori All Black. Uh, everybody loved him. He inspired uh, leadership uh, and he did a lot for that prison. And uh, that's the sort of thing that I admire and I, I think it would be a great thing. You must remember that when National was in power before, they had Nick Smith. He stopped all cultural visits to prisons. He stopped all Maori. Which caused enormous which, trouble. Which caused a riot. So I'm pleased to see that in some respects uh, the National uh, Party or National Government are starting to see a, a bit of common sense. Let's talk a bit more about Mac, just briefly, Mac Herdewini, yes. because um, it, it ties into this idea of, of um, privatisation of prisons working well. Mm. The Auckland Roman prison was a success, wasn't it? But well, you think yes, it's it almost totally success, because yes, of yes, him. Yes, uh, we don't need to privatise. We can put these good Maori leader, these in inspirational people into our prisons. We don't need to privatise to privatise. We've got to remember that privatisation, or capitalism as some people call it, is remarkably unsuccessful. That's why we've got a recession at the present moment. It's these fat cats in America, these bankers and these people who play around with currency, they've caused the tremendous distress in the world. And probably, you know, they are the people that should be locked up, not the people in Mount Eden prison. Um, you have some problems with the, the whole concept of privatisation, don't you? Absolutely. I think that uh, the Tied administration in. of justice is so important it should be the prerogative of the government. OK, our prisons are a complete disgrace. We have probably the worst prisons in the Western world. They're dirty, they're understaffed, there's violence, there's homosexuality, uh, there's too much congestion, there's not enough exercise, there's not enough training. I mean, our prisons are a complete and absolute disgrace. But that, they're not going to be helped by privatisation. What they're going to be helped by is inspirational leadership uh, and a new policy. Uh, and also, we've got to stop sending so many people to prison. And we've got to stop charging so many people with criminal offences in this country. We've got to realise, as the European people do, that many of these people who commit so-called criminal offences actually require help. You take a woman who has a child on a plane, uh, she's ill, she's ill mentally, she's ill physically. What's the point of throwing her into a cell and bringing her into court in the glare of publicity? That's not going to help her, it's not going to help the child, it's not going to help the community. We just go over the top with charging people. In Is this, this a crack in our national psyche, this idea of just lock them up and leave them Yes, there? I'm inclined to think. I think we are very, very conservative. We are a wealthy country. Uh, on, on, a, on a percentage basis, but we don't seem to want to help people. You know, it costs a thousand dollars a month to, to have a child in, in, uh, in uh, care, in pre-school uh, care. Now, ordinary parents can't afford that, and there's going to be more of that poverty as, as the recession bites in. There's going to be more families without, without enough money. Poverty is one of the main causes. Lack of housing, lack of education. These are all the things we've got to look at. And Mr Key, you can't you can't turn a blind eye to all this because that, that's what's going to cause crime. I know one of the things you're very keen on is seeing more rehabilitation in prisons. National has promised that they're going to at least look at a comprehensive prisoner rehab strategy and mm. they're promising to get double the number of prisoners into drug and alcohol programs. Well, is that not good enough? No, that, that's very good. But of course we've closed down institutions in New Zealand that were giving drug rehabilitation. We've closed down uh, institutions in New Zealand that were giving alcohol rehabilitation uh, and uh, so far as the community itself is concerned we require more uh, preschool child care families that suddenly lose their income because of the recession are going to require assistance uh, there's a whole range of things that are required if we're going to keep crime down once people get to prison though is there not much more you can do oh no 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 you've got to remember that the ordinary person in prison is just like the ordinary person in the street except that the person in prison is going to require some assistance. He's going to require assistance to get a job. He's going to require assistance to get some sort of trade so he can get a job when he gets out. Uh, he's going to require often... Uh, he has psychological problems. He has mental problems. He has often physical problems. Uh, uh, prisons are full of disease. They're full of uh, influenza. In fact, I think one of the things that was said the other day, if we had some sort of epidemic in this country, it would just go straight through our prisons. Prisons are extremely unhealthy places. 
cases. And we expect people to come out of prison after, say, 10 or 12 years and just be normal uh, people. They, they're not normal people. They've been locked up in cages. They require halfway houses. They require assistance. They require supervision. And we don't do that. And then they go and commit a crime and everybody howls. Thank you very much, Peter Williams. QC, <laughs> we'll have to leave it there. Thanks for coming in this morning.